Fred had developed an ad a few years back that I think kind of typifies our, our impact on Omaha. Uh, and I'm going to paraphrase here, but the sense of it was that you taxi on a Hawkins runway today, you parked in a Hawkins garage, you drove on a Hawkins road, and you probably met in a Hawkins building. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think that kind of symbolizes uh, really our impact upon uh, Omaha as a whole. When we talk about someone building a lasting legacy, we usually mean that figuratively, unless the last name is Hawkins. We've built thousands of jobs, uh, and they've all had their challenges, and they've all been fun. From state-of-the-art commercial buildings, schools and healthcare facilities, to the runways, highways, and bridges that connect them. We're proud, proud of them all. A construction legacy set, like all worthy projects, on a strong foundation. I had three rules growing up. Uh, the, the first rule was I had to do well in school. The second rule was that I had to work in the summertime. And the third rule was that I had to get my hair cut. Uh, and I had really one interest as a child, uh, which was sports, uh, until I met my future wife in high school, and then I had two interests. <laughs> Sturdy supports, of course, also critical. Kim and his wife Karen celebrate 40 years of marriage this year. Certainly Karen has been, has had the greatest influence. She has been uh, my best friend. She has been my confidant and my advisor. Fred and his wife, Mary Ann, married for 38 years. Yeah, I wake up each morning and say, life has been really good. I was born uh, at the right time in the right place, and uh, I, I wouldn't trade my life with anybody else in the world. Graduates of Westside High School, both Fred, who attended Hastings College, and younger brother Kim, who went to Georgia Tech, grew up in the family business. I started working when I was 10 years old, and I was responsible for fueling all the equipment uh, and sweeping the shop out. And, and of course, you learn when you're when you're 10 years old and you're responsible for uh, anything, uh, you think you're making the company run. A company with a storied history that dates back to 1922, Fred and Kim's grandfather in one of the most iconic structures in the state. Kenneth Hawkins and his brother bid on and won a big red construction contract. The gentleman who owned the company at that time, as I was told the story, didn't want to build Memorial Stadium, so they bought Parsons Construction, was the name of the company, and built their first, their first job as owners was Memorial Stadium down in Lincoln. In 1960, Kenneth and his son, Fred Sr., incorporated the business into what is now Hawkins Construction Company. Kim and Fred Jr.'s involvement was never in question. You name it, they did it. Uh, we held every craft position uh, while we were going to college, uh, from beginning with laborers, uh, as a laborer, uh, we were carpenters, finishers, uh, operators, ultimately culminating and becoming superintendents. Your company is only as good as the people you have. And if you really can't understand what they're going through, the problems they're facing, uh, et cetera. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to make good decisions. I want to be clear, we weren't very good carpenters. We weren't very good operators uh, on it, but we, we learned about the people. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we learned what was important to them and, and what uh, motivated them. Frankly, build up a degree of credibility with, uh, with, those, with that group. Though they shrug off titles, Fred became CEO, Kim became president when their father retired in 1980. Hawkins had already established itself as a contracting powerhouse, responsible for highways, bridges, and many of our area's most recognized buildings. The company soared even higher under Fred and Kim's leadership. I never dreamed that our company would be where it is today. You know, when, uh, Dad and my grandfather started Hawkins in 1960. Uh, we were a small company. We weren't afraid of risk. Uh, now we always had to be able to quantify that risk. Well, we weren't afraid to try things that uh, we hadn't done in the past. After establishing itself as the region's most successful highway and bridge contractor in the 90s, Hawkins accelerated at the turn of the millennium with a string of high-profile projects: the Nebraska State Correctional Facility in Tecumseh. 
University of Nebraska Medical Center's Durham Research Center, the widening of Interstate 80 from Omaha to the Platte River, and Omaha's elevated West Dodge Expressway. Hawkins' success uh, is not because Fred and I had such great vision, uh, it's because we uh, created an environment that allowed our people to flourish. Hawkins was always geared uh, for people who wanted to advance, who wanted to grow. Day after day, year after year, the brothers grew the business together and loved it. I would have had near as much fun if I had not worked with my brother Kim. We, we always attempted to put our best foot forward, and it didn't make any difference who accomplished something. It was really what was best for the company long term. We had a great time. Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, we had a great success, too. Yeah. Fred began dialing back his day-to-day -day involvement a couple of years ago. I'm lucky I have an opportunity to run a couple farms and a ranch, so I have enough to keep me busy without being in Kim's way. Kim, father of three, grandfather of eight, is still full speed ahead, working hand in hand with the next generation of Hawkins, his son, Chris. I enjoy watching uh, the younger people grow. Uh, within our team. I'm convinced that uh, the best days of Hawkins are the future, not the past. The legacy they've helped to create extends beyond the built environment to building up our youth. The organization that's nearest and dearest to our heart is Boys and Girls Clubs. It really pulls at your heartstrings once you get involved with these kids. It's awfully hard to, to get away from it. And now, 17 years after we inducted your father, it's your turn. Every company changes, has to change day by day to, to get better or you will not survive. Uh, it's an evolving world. Uh, but, but the fundamentals, the foundation of our company is the same today as it was in the past. We were a contractor in 1960 and we're a contractor in 2015. For constructing a powerful legacy, one that allows us to drive, fly, work, and more, we're proud to welcome Fred and Kim Hawkins to the Omaha Business Hall of Fame.